Reserve Bank of India Governor Shakti Kantardas has said that the Central Bank of the country has appointed five-member committee under the chairmanship of Nandan Nilkani to further deepen digital payments and enhance financial inclusion through fintech. The union government on March 1, 2019 signed a $926 million loan agreement to operationalize two of the Mumbai Metro Rail system. The union cabinet approved Kanpur Metro Rail project having two corridors, which will connect major public nodes and city cluster areas of Kanpur. The center and the Asian Development Bank have signed a $26 million loan agreement to provide additional financing for improving drainage infrastructure in the Brugah town of Assam. India signed a $3 billion US dollars deal with Russia for leasing a nuclear-powered attack submarine for the Indian Navy for a period of 10 years. Business organizations using adder services now need to pay Rs 20 for each customer verification and 50 pays for authentication of each transaction carried out by the entities, as per the Unique Identification Authority of India. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs has given its approval for investment approval for 2 by 660 MW Buxar Thermal Power Project in District Buxar of Bihar. The Board of Reserve Bank of India, which included the present Governor Shakti Kantardas as the director, had warned of short-term negative impact of demonetization on the country's economic growth. Indian Institute of Technology Raw Oki has signed in with the Indian Space Research Organization of the Department of Space, Government of India, Bengaluru to set up an ISRO at Space Technology Cell at it Raw Oki, recognizing the need to strengthen their institutional interactions and thereby enhance the scope of the activities pursued under STC commensurate with the programmatic goals of ISRO. The Union Ministry of Human Resource Development is all set to work with the Afghanistan government on digital education initiatives. This includes many prominent programs developed by Indian Institutes of Technology. Dr. Akmawanti, a well-known scientist, has been appointed the new director of Babu Atomic Research Center. Swati Shingade of Pune, Maharashtra has bagged the first prize of D.D. Mahlukisn Award for 2018-19. France announced to freeze all assets of Pakistan-based terror outfit Shi Muhammad Chief Masood Azhar in application of its monetary and financial code. India's most valued lender HDFC Bank in March, 2019 crossed the rupees 6 lakh crore market capitalization mark, becoming the third company to do so after Reliance Industries and Tata Consultancy Services. Tata Consultancy Services announced that it is developing solutions to drive scaled adoption of blockchain across industries, using technologies from Microsoft and R3, an enterprise blockchain software firm. India and the US have identified small air launch unmanned aerial vehicles and a lightweight small arms technology project along with aircraft maintenance for defense collaboration, a top Pentagon official has said. Reliance Industries chairman and Asia's richest man Mukesh Ambani recently topped Forbes the world's richest sports team owners 2019 list. INS Kandri, the second of the six Scorpion class submarines, will soon be inducted into the Indian Navy by May 2019. BJP's Pramod Sawant will be the new Chief Minister of Goa, party sources said here in March, 2019, ending the suspense over who will succeed Manohar Perkar. In Asian Youth Athletics Championships in Hong Kong, boys medley relay team won a gold medal for India on the final day to help Indian youth team finish second in the overall medals tally with a total of 26 medals including 8 gold, 9 silver and 9 bronze medals. The Pakistan Cricket Board PCB, has paid approximately $1.6 million as compensation to the Board of Control for Cricket in India BCCI, after losing a case in the ICC's Dispute Resolution Committee. The information was shared by PCB Chairman Ahmani on March 18, 2019. India gets its first lock pull six years after the passage of Act, former Supreme Court Judge, Pinaki Chandra Goes was on March 19, 2019 appointed as India's first lock pull also known as the Anti-Corruption Ombudsman. Kazakhstan's parliament in March, 2019 voted to rename the country's capital Astana as Nur Sultan in honor of longtime ruler Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, a day after he resigned as president. Indian origin Jagmeet Singh has created history in Canada by entering the House of Commons as the first non-white leader of a major opposition party in the country. Kazakhstan's President Nur Sultan Nazarbayev abruptly announced his resignation from the position on March 19, 2019 after nearly three decades in power. Afghanistan's cricket team on March 18, 2019 recorded its maiden test win after beating Ireland by seven wickets in a one-off game at the Hadan in Uttarakhand. The Zaid Cricket Stadium in Abu Dhabi will be hosting an exclusive T10 Cricket League for the next five years, starting with the 2019 season. Educational campus constructed with Government of India's financial grant of 35.5 million Nepalese rupees was inaugurated. 
in the first such military outreach to Africa, where China has made deep strategic inroads, India on March 18, 2019 kicked off an exercise with 17 nations from the continent at the armed military station at Pune. The Indian Air Force will participate in Lanka e International Maritime Aero Expo, 2019. The expo will take place in Lanka e Malaysia from March the 26th to the 30th, 2019. The United States President, Donald Trump on March 21, 2019 declared that the U.S. will recognize Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights, a disputed land which Israel captured from Syria in 1967. The Australian government has decided to slash the nation's permanent migrant intake from 190,000 to 160,000 in the lead-up to May's general election. India was ranked at 140 on the United Nations' latest World Happiness Report that gauged 156 countries, a decline of seven spots from the last edition of the survey. India was also among the five countries that experienced the highest decline since 2005 to 2008 in the index. Finland topped the list for the second consecutive year, followed by Denmark and Norway. South Sudan was ranked at the bottom of the index. Phone, India's fastest-growing payments platform in March. 2019 announced appointed of Bollywood superstar Ra Amir Khan as its brand ambassador. The government has appointed Vice Admiral Karam Singh as the next chief of the naval staff. In a major boost to the India's strategic airlift capability, the Indian Air Force, AF, in March, 2019 inducted the first four battle-hardened Chinook heavy lift helicopters into its Chandigarh-based Air Force station. India has moved up two places to rank 76th on a global energy transition index. This annual list, compiled by Geneva-based World Economic Forum WEF, has ranked 115 economies on how well they are able to balance energy security and access with environmental sustainability and affordability. Sweden remains on the top on this annual list and is followed by Switzerland and Norway in the top three. India has achieved an 84% reduction in tuberculosis deaths among people living with HIV by 2017. India finished the Special Olympics World Games with a rich haul of 368 medals, which included 85 gold, 154 silver and 129 bronze in Abu Dhabi in March, 2019. Shuresh Rina added another feather to his illustrious cap, here in March, 2019, as the Chennai Super Kings, CSK, batsmen became the first in the Indian Premier League, IPL, history to amass 5,000 runs. U.S. President Donald Trump signed an executive order on March 21, 2019 to promote free speech on college campuses by threatening the colleges that the government will cut federal research funding if they do not protect those rights. New Zealand on March 21, 2019 imposed an immediate ban on assault weapons following last week's Christchurch massacre that claimed the lives of at least 50 mosque goers. Chandran 2, the second moon mission of the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, will be carrying laser retroflector arrays owned by the U.S. Space Agency National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, will launch 29 satellites including the primary payload demisat on April 1, 2019. The joint training exercise Maitra Shakti, Vi between Indian and Sri Lanka Army is being held from in March, 2019 at Dietal Ava in Sri Lanka. Chief of Naval Staff Admiral Sunil Lanbal inaugurated the Indian Navy's nuclear, biological and chemical training facility Krishnade Bedur, at INS Shivaji in Lonavala in March, 2019. American mathematician Karen Allenbeck won the Abel Prize 2019. The Saudi-led coalition in Yemen and the United Nations UN, have signed a Memorandum of Understanding MU, to protect children affected by the country's five years long civil war, official Saudi press agency SPA, reported yesterday. The University Grants Commission UGC, has prohibited imparting distance degree programs in agriculture. Facebook is putting in place a response team for India's general elections for monitoring and tracking of objectionable content in real time round the clock. India and Bangladesh will start a cruise service from March 29, 2019 that would take passengers through the Sundarbans to Dhaka. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has barred the mentioning of caste in the FIRs. Indian Institute of Technology, IT, Delhi announced recently that they have developed an artificial intelligence-based electronic hardware system to detect malaria, tuberculosis, intestinal parasite, and cervical cancer in milliseconds. President Ramnath Govind was honored with Croatia's highest civilian order, the Grand Order of the King of Tomislav, on March 26, 2019. The Union Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change recently notified Island Protection Zone 2019 for Andaman and Nakobao.
China has expelled former Interpol chief Meng Hongwei from the Communist Party and dismissed him from his official positions. Indian shooting players Manu Bika and Saurabh Chaudhary smashed the qualification world record at 12th. During his visit, President Govind was conferred with the highest state honor of Bolivia, Conrad de los Andes and El Grado de Gran Collar by the President of Bolivia, Evo Morales in Santa Cruz. BCCI's newly appointed ombudsman, retired Justice D.K. Jain will now also serve as the cricketing body's ethics officer till such a time that someone permanent is appointed to the post. Railways Minister Piyush Goyal on February 27, 2019 announced the South Coast Railway, SGOR, as the new zone of Indian Railways. The Union Cabinet approved the implementation of Master Plan to convert All India Institute of Medical Sciences apostrophe, New Delhi into a world-class medical university. Committee on Economic Affairs approved development of new Greenfield Airport at Hirasar, Rajkot, Gujarat. The Union Cabinet, chaired by the Prime Minister Nahandra Modi, approved the establishment of new All India Institute of Medical Sciences, AIMS, Riwari at Manthi, Haryana at a cost of Rs 1,299 crore. The alumnus and researchers at the Indian Institute of Technology, IT, Delhi have created a laptop dot book for visually impaired. Roger Federer has claimed the 180p title of his career with after beating 20-year-old Greek Stefanos Tsitsipas 6-4, 6-4 in the final of the Dubai Tennis Championships. World Wildlife Day 2019 is observed on 3rd of March, 2019 with the theme Life Below Water, for People and Planet. Prime Minister Nahandra Modi on March 4, 2019 launched One Nation, One Card model from Ahmedabad, Gujarat for seamless travel through different metros and other transport systems. The Indian Space Research Organization has launched a special program for school children called Uvavijyani Karyakram or Young Scientist Program. Indo-Bangladesh Joint Military Exercise, Exercise Sampriti 2019 began on March 2, 2019 at Tangail, Bangladesh. This will be the 8th edition of the exercise which is hosted alternately by both countries. Cricket is set for a return at the Asian Games after the Olympic Council of Asia Sunday included it in the sports program for the 2022 edition in Hangzhou. India tops global consumer confidence survey. Russian scientist Zos Ivanovich Alfarov who won the 2000 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work in semiconductor and laser technologies died at the age of 88 in St. Petersburg, the Russian Communist Party. Exercise Al Nagar 3, third in the series of bilateral joint exercise between India and Oman is scheduled to be held from March 12 to 25, 2019 at Jabal Alagda Mountains in Oman. Technology giant Google has unveiled a new app called Bolo that aims to help children in primary school learn to read in Hindi and English. National Space Agency ISRO and its French counterpart can signed an agreement to set up a joint maritime surveillance system in the country. Sumya Swaminathan, a deputy director general of the World Health Organization has been named chief scientist of the WHO. Dr. Ajav Seed, presently High Commissioner of India to the Republic of Seychelles, has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to Saudi Arabia. The BCCI in the latest list of central contracts rewarded the young wicketkeeper batsman Rishabh Pant with a greater retainership while demoted senior opener Shikhar Dahan from the Elite A-plus category. In order to sustain polio eradication drive from the country, government on Saturday launched Pulse Polio program for 2019. Around 20 years after the Humsafar Trust started a support group for gay men, male sex workers and transgenders, creating awareness about the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, the group inaugurated the country's first HIV treatment center and holistic clinic for the for the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender and queer, LGBTQ, community. Jagdish Makki was on Saturday sworn in as the governor of Mizoram at a function held at the Raj Bhavan in Azol. Mohammed Shteya has been named as Palestinian Prime Minister by President of Palestinian Authority Mimao Dabbas. Veteran Hindi newsreader Vinod Kashyap has passed away following a prolonged illness. She was 88. She served All India Radio for about 30 years. Zaini Dainsidane has been reappointed as the coach of Spanish football club Real Madrid till 2022. The Indian campaign has ended in the Indian Wells Masters Tennis Tournament at California in the United States. India star wrestler Bajrang Punia won a gold medal in 65kg freestyle at the International Wrestling Tournament, Dan Koloff, Nikola Petrov in Ruz, Bulgaria. As per the latest report of the World Gold Council, India has the 11th largest gold reserve and the current gold holding is pegged at 607 tons. Website hosting company, GoDaddy on March 12, 2019 became the official sponsor of the International Cricket Council, ICC, World Cup 2019. 
India and Pakistan have agreed to work expeditiously on operationalizing the Kartapa Corridor.